Hello, hello. I am uh, back with another comic book haul video. It's uh, number 50, I believe. Uh, the Big 5 0. And it covers uh, the last two weeks, which is uh, May uh, uh, 9th and 16th, 2018. I have 10 new books to show you and uh, and some uh, trade paperbacks I got for dirt cheap. Yeah, really, really good. I can't believe how cheap my store had them. And uh, the background music you're listening to, because I like to give you all something to listen to besides my voice, is uh, the soundtrack to the first Godfather movie. Classic, classic music to a classic uh, movie. Anyway, let's get on going with the books, comics. I'll show you the floppies first. Start off with Athena Voltaire and the Sorcerer Pope, number four. Sorry, and this is the uh, I think the final one of the little series. And uh, let's see, up next is a Marvel book, Avengers number two. And it's, uh, what is that? It's legacy number is 692. Uh, good, good cover. Real colorful. Next up is, uh, from Dark Horse, BPRD, The Devil You Know, number six. And it, this took a few months to get out. Not sure what the holdup is. This is, uh, the B cover. And I think it was done by Mike McNola. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's who did it. And that's, uh, and that's part six of six. Up next is Green Hornet number three. That's the uh, regular A cover, and that's from Dynamite. Next up is Hunt for Wolverine Animantium Agenda number one. And after that, Another Marvel book. Hunt for Wolverine, The Claws of a Killer, number one. And this is the, uh, or a variant cover. I don't know how many different covers there were, so. See how that goes. Now it's uh, back to Dynamite. Oh, forgot this track was a song. So you'll be, you'll be hearing a couple voices now. One is a much better singer than I am. Anyway. I know it's a bad joke. Uh, James Bond, The Body, number five. This is the regular A cover from Dynamite. Now it's uh, to DC. Justice League, No Justice, number one. And this is a four part series. I think that's the regular A cover. Yeah, regular old A cover. Next up is. Justice League, No Justice, number two. Net after that is... And the last one, last new book for this week, or last two weeks, Medieval Spawn in Witchblade, number one. This is a uh, cover done apparently by Todd McFarlane. This is uh, the a B, B cover, sorry about that. And there's uh, one book that I had to order, have my have my shop order, uh, and that's um, Danger Doll Squad Galactic Guardians number two. Came out this past Wednesday on the 16th, and uh, I guess it'll be in next Wednesday. And uh, I uh, this I didn't go. I'm shooting this on uh, Saturday, May 19th. This past week I was in Las Vegas, is why I, uh, I couldn't go to a store on. Wednesday the 16th Monday the 14th through the 18th I was uh, on vacation having fun in Las Vegas uh, so you'll be seeing videos from that too I think I shot about 20 videos out there I also do a lot of picture taking too and I upload upload those to Flickr if you want, if you want to look at that my uh, username is uh, my uh, Account or whatever you want to call it uh, is Groover Man. As you can look at, uh, look at all my albums that I have there. Got a ton of them. Anyway, let's keep on going to the uh, 
the uh, the uh, trade paperbacks I got for real cheap. They're they're having a Bedrock City was having a clearance. At least the Washington one. I'm sure the other ones are too. Uh, this I got for two dollars. Jennifer Love Hewitt's music box. It's uh, originally let's see originally originally it was twenty dollars and they're selling it for two. There's the sticker right there. A yeah, nice neon green sticker. And she, uh, there, there was, I guess, a couple different, uh, Ghost Whisperer comic books based on Jennifer Love's Hewitt old, Hewitt's old TV show. I have the first one in, in floppy form, the second one in, uh, I think in a trade form. Anyway, I had been, lo I had been looking at this for a while, and I, but never got around to buying it at the full twenty dollar price. So I saw it today. Had to buy it for two dollars. I'm sure it's worth a lot more than that. I mean, I'm sure the quality wise is. Anyway, let's keep on going. Next up is I bought this for uh, two dollars. This is volume ten of The Walking Dead. What we become is the uh, title of that volume. There at the bottom. I have Volume 1. I've had Volume 1 for at least a couple years now. I haven't read it yet. Sounds crazy, I know. Next up are, uh, is, uh, are three different books that are part, part of the same title. Uh, I guess different series of the same title. And this is Anita Blake, The Laughing Corpse Animator. And it collects uh, issues 1 through 5 of that title. I have uh, the first title... The first series, one through twelve, in floppy form, and a the handbook in a parts one or two of something else, but had, that didn't have this one or this one. Anita Blake, the Laughing Corpse Necromancer, and it's uh, again, it's a uh, yeah five issues of that series. And this is for two bucks, and another one I bought for two bucks. Uh, Anita Blake. The Laughing Corpse Executioner, another five uh, issue series they collected, two bucks. This one I got for three dollars, and it's to probably uh, paid three dollars just because of the size, I guess. James Bond, The Phoenix Project. I guess it adapted a, I don't know if it's like a short story or what, but uh, that Ian Fleming did, but. Yeah, it's a uh, look through it. It's well, not that. It's all in black and white. And I'm guessing that's the original format. I don't know if these like maybe this was like a collection of comic strips or an adapt adapt adaptation of a of a book. I don't know or a short story. I don't know. Maybe someone can tell me. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe someone can tell me in the comic section. Yeah, this normally costs. 1995 and the Anita Blake books originally cost 16.99 so yeah I think I got pretty good deals anyway uh, I'll be uh, I guess it'll be another two weeks before I shoot another uh, comic book haul video yeah, let's go ahead and turn this down again. Give me a sec. anyway uh, Next weekend, uh, which is my Memorial Day weekend, I'm going to, uh, or more than likely going to Comic Palooza here in Houston. And that's, uh, say, I say that because I've already bought a three day pass, $85. And, um, they don't, I bought that, I, I jumped the gun on that, I bought it because they, they kept saying, you know, price is going to go up, price is going to go up. I think they increased the prices what three times already, and they're going. Of course, it's going to go up the day of the. You no, know, once the convention starts, it'll go up again at the door. And uh, yeah, I did it. I mean, there wasn't anybody that I really wanted to get an autograph from. And like last year, I didn't go to Comic Con because there's no one I wanted to see. Uh, no big names. I mean, they announced Shannon Elizabeth the week of, but decided decided it wasn't worth going because I was the weekend right before I was going to Las Vegas so I was 
it would have cost me seventy, eighty dollars just to go get her autograph. You know, parking, buying the ticket, buying her autograph. So I passed that, passed the convention over, and I, I ended up going to Wizard World in Austin in November. So, but I mean, more likely I'll go. I think I'll pick up. I can pick up my pass tomorrow at Bedrock City on Westheimer. I guess I just make the best of it. I'm more than likely if I, you know, if I go. I guess I'm more than likely I will. I'll get, I guess Jerry, uh, the an autograph from Jerry Ryan, and uh, who was on a Deep Space Nine, Star Trek, played seven or nine. Someone who was a Borg, get bet, went back to being human, or mostly human, and also uh, Tri Tricia Halford. I'm not sure if that's how her name is pronounced, but she. Uh, was on the newer Battlestar Galactica. She's uh, someone who, she she was a blonde in the show who wore a red dress a lot. And I never watched the show, but I got a couple of Battlestar Galactica comic books that I would like to have her autograph if she would do that. And then there's, uh, I guess, Amy Chu. She's a comic book writer behind Red, uh, so, behind, uh, behind Red Sony and the Green Hornet. And I guess I can get couple of books of those autographed from her and then uh there's Arthur Suidam he's known for zombie art or drawing zombies I guess I can get a one or two comics from him for, uh, that he did or covers to those signed and maybe buy a print or two met him a few uh back in 2011 at Wizard World Austin nice guy and um uh, this is played by ear. I mean, I'm sure I'll go to some, you know, uh, what do you call them, uh, panels. Some actors, act, you know, panels done by maybe Jerry Ryan and Tr Tricia Hal Halfer. And who knows? Just play by ear. Make the most of it. And so, you know, if I, you know, going, if I go, I'll shoot videos. Like I always do. And, uh. So you'll be seeing that, and uh, I haven't, as of right now, I haven't uh, uploaded any of my Las Vegas videos, but I get, that'll probably start tomorrow, Sunday the 21st, yeah, no, 20th, yeah, 20th, sorry. Anyway, I'm uh, kind of sorry about being a little distracted, I got the Astros on, they're losing 5-4 to four in the bottom of the ninth to the Indians, they won yesterday 4-1, to one, but. Anyway, um, if you liked what you saw, I'm rambling, aren't I? I'm sorry. Anyway, if you liked what you saw here, please uh, like, subscribe, hit the little notification bell if you would, please. And then if you do the sort of thing, uh, like social media, share there, I guess, if you want, please. And anyway, I, oh yeah, no, what, last, last week, week and a half, I crossed the uh, 700 subscriber uh, mark. Which is a bit of a surprise because for longest before I started doing these videos I was like 500 and something for a long time and all of a sudden bam went up to 700 over a course so last however long I've been doing these now. Anyway, uh, that's it for today. Until next time, have a good one. Thank you for watching.